what's up it's your boy sports wizard and welcome back to another video on my channel today we're going to be doing Smith versus Umber olympic star brand so let's get right into it my prediction is Smith in 3 squared 756775 more medium so yeah i don't know what you guys think you guys are like whoa like that like that great is the scoreline i think Umber i think he's been playing really well and one more he got his highest grand slam result so i think He's off like really good form. So I think that he can um you know like I think that he can like make his best work for it a lot and it'll be a thriller at least. That's what I think. So anyway, without further ado, let's get into the elevation. So since we just went to the Austrian Open seven finals, Earl Girls finals, Wimbledon fourth round, and US Open third round. He's number four in the world and he has seven titles. He's an aggressive baseline, he's an awkward, he has good grand strokes, he has a good serve. And he sometimes makes a little too many and four stars. He went to the Olympics third round, so if he wins, he, he, he's going to go to the fourth round, so on, so forth. He won the ATP Tour Finals. Whereas Hugo Mbear, he went to the Austrian Open, US Open second round, Ron Girls first round, um, Wimbledon and fourth round. He has three career titles, and he's number 28 in the world. He went to the Olympics third round, so if he wins, he goes to the fourth round, so on, so forth. Um, he's an offensive player, he has good bodies, he has good grand strokes, and he's good at rallies. And the hand toward is 1-0 on there. And the, I believe they played, um, la like last year or late last year, I believe November 2020, in which the scoreline was actually 7-6-6-7-7-6, and Umbear actually won that one. So in the first one, Sissipa is going to go aggressive, you know, he's going to hit aces, he's going to hit winners, he's going to make Umbear move around, he's going to use his variety of shots. Whereas Umbear, I mean, he's going to come to the net as well, and he's going to... Um, he's gonna get points from there. He's also gonna use his grand strokes and hit a couple of winners. And he's also gonna try to rally with set space, but it won't be enough. I mean, set space, he's just gonna, like, whack it for a winner or something. But they're both gonna be playing really well. But eventually, set space will like, add that on there because he's just gonna be using his variety more and all that. So set space will win the first set. In the second set, I think they're both gonna be neck to neck. Like, they're both gonna hit winners. They're both gonna come to the net and get points there. You know, they're, they're both gonna rally and they're both gonna win a lot of points through rallies. But then go. Umber will be a little bit better because I think he's just going to be, you know, like, just whacking more. I think he's, he's going to understand Sitspus a little bit better. He's going to read him a little bit better. Then I, I just think he's going to make Sitspus move around a lot in the tie break. And eventually, Umber will win the tie break. In the third set, I think that's where Sitspus, he'll go back to business. You know, he's just going to keep riding with Umber, making him move around, using the variety of shots, hitting aces, hitting winners. And the thing with Umber, like, he's going to hit winners as well, but I don't think his serve will be that great also. So that's why it'll be a little bit of a problem. And eventually, Sispus will come out on top. So, yeah, throughout the whole match, they're almost going to be neck to neck. But Sispus, you know, is going to use his variety more, make Umber move around a lot more. He's going to have the more powerful ground strokes, the, like the more deep ground strokes. And eventually, he will come out on top. So, yeah, I guess this was the prediction. Please make sure to like, subscribe, and turn on those notifications. Guys, um, I also did. Mavra vs. Fonini and Djokovic vs. Davidovich for Kina earlier, so go check that out as well. And yeah, guys, like, subscribe, and turn on those notifications. And I'll see you next time. Peace.